So let's set up your Shopify shipping methods. Hi guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today we'll be showing you how to set up your own uh, shipping methods for your Shopify account. Now if of course you have your Shopify stores all set up, um, you'll have um, a few options all tick ticked off here. Um, you'll have your tasks complete. I've just uh, created a brand new trial uh, for the sake of this uh, video. Um, but to set up your own uh, Shopify shipping methods, um, you will need to go to your admin page, which we have here. Now, what we want to do um, is go down to the bottom left corner to click Settings. And once we are at our settings, there will be a ton of different options. Now, once we're on to our settings page, we have a few different options on the left hand side. Of course, you can click through each of them um, individually just to fill them out as you, as, you, as you feel necessary. But on the left hand side, we're going to go to shipping and delivery, as that's what we're going to talk through today. Now, at this section here, you'll notice there's actually a lot of different parts to go through. As you scroll down, you'll see there's a few different tabs to click through. Um, so we'll work our way through them just to show you and explain what we want to do and in terms of setting them up, of course. Now at the top, the, the first tab is shipping, where you can choose where you ship and how much you charge for shipping at checkout. So obviously to, straight, to go straight into this, we just need to click manage over here. Once that loads up, it will display all the products here at the top that you've got displayed. Now, of course, I've just got one product, um, a simple blue t-shirt, but I imagine with your products listed, you'll have a big list here, but that's fine. You can now scroll down and you'll see um, uh, the shipping from tab. So, of course, there's a shop location uh, and it says United Kingdom. Um, of course, you can manage that, but there's nothing really to do. Um, so, we just leave that as it is. Now, for specifically the European Union, um, you'll have um, individual options below at this stage in terms of where you're shipping to. So to begin, we have the European Union. Uh, it does um, say so you can show all, just to show all the list of countries. But uh, what we want to do is, of course, manage our standard international rates. So if we click onto the dot 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 button, we can uh, delete the standard rate or we can edit the standard rate. So for our standard rate, for example, which is two to eleven business days, we are setting a price of fourteen ninety nine. If we want to remove these conditions, we can click that, or of course we can click add conditions in case there's different um, different prices based on weight, for example, or um, um, the order price as well. And as well, it does well it highlight that at least nine services typically meet this transit time, just so that we know that we can stick to this two to eleven business days. However, if we do want to go to Express International, we can click that um, and we can now change the price if we want. We can make this, for example, 20 and click Done to, to update that. Now, it's actually just changed that um, original standard to Express. So if we add rate, we can go back to um, Standard and, um, of course, put that back in um, and have it updated over here. So we have two different options, um, 2 to 7, uh, 20 pounds, or 2 to 11, 14 pounds. So that's within the European Union. Of course, you can do the exact same um, for different um, areas. So for United Kingdom, for me, two to four businesses I do for free if, if you are paying 40 pounds and upwards. However, if it's in the UK and you've, you've um, um, paid less than that, it's a 5.99 charge. We can obviously edit that if we want to. Um, so for example, um, based on order price, a minimum of um, 50 to 49.99, just to make sure um, you will pay um, a, a charge of 5.99. Or if I want to change that to, um, let's say, 9.99, we can do that as well, and that's updated here. And for the rest of the world, um, it will be a bit more expensive, of course, because you're, you're traveling further. Again, um, this is set up that any condition, so zero euro and up, so any product, essentially. Um, there's a transit time of 3 to 17 days, um, and we charge £23.99. So again, if we want to edit that, we can we can change it on, uh, on weight and uh, on the item weight um, on um, different business lines as well and, and different uh, business working days in terms of in transit so that's fine I'm going to keep that as it is I'm happy with that and then once you're done you just click save 
Now that we've updated that, we can go back um, and go to the next option uh, in which it states about processing time. So, um, show delivery dates to the customers by setting a processing time. If you process orders in two business days or less, this will be added to the transit time of your sh shipping date. So if we click manage here, we can click to use processing time um, to show delivery dates at checkout. So of course, um, if we are um, processing the actual um, uh, the product um, before dispatch then we click um, same business day if that's how long it takes or next business day or of course two business day if it takes a bit more to long a bit more time to process that um, orders placed after 12 p.m. are treated as if they came in, in the next business day so an order before 12 uh, will can be that same day but, but after 12 of course it will be the following day now if we're happy to just put this in let's say next business day all you need to do is click save so we've got the process time being active and our, our next option is now local delivery. So this is something that you might want to offer or you might not want to offer. Um, so for example, if we click here now, we have the option to actually allow local delivery. Um, so what that means is we can charge a specific rate for people within a certain range. So we can use postcodes uh, or we can use um, delivery radius. So for example, if you're happy to give a local delivery rate to um, anyone who buys your product within, let's say, 50 miles, for example, that would be something that we can do. For me to click that option, of course, you do have to review your um, local address. So in this tab here, we can actually change our local address so we can obviously update that if we wanted to, um, which is why the option is not available for just now. But if we want to do a local delivery again, we can just put in our postcodes to where we want. Um, obviously, just call it the zone name as local delivery and put in the, the prices here. So again, the minimum um, and the delivery price that you, you want to, to add in. And you can add in delivery information as well just below. Once you're happy with that, you can click save. I'm just going to discard that for just now. Now, as well as the local delivery, there is local pickup. So again, a uh, worthwhile op offering for people, again, within a certain range. Um, it just allows people the option to actually just pick up for free, of course, um, you wouldn't charge for a local delivery. Um, it does say expected pickup time, and, then, and you can add in usually ready within forever long it takes you to actually um, get the product ready. So let's say within 24 hours to get your product from the warehouse or create your product if it's digital or, or print, print it out um, or create it um, depending on what the product is and then you can obviously change that. Now of course it does pick up instructions and as default it does say bring your confirmation email when you come to collect order. I think that's absolutely fine and that makes sense and you want to make sure that the customer has the obviously proof of purchase and um, you can add in a thank you of course just to make sure it sounds a bit more pleasant and that's you ready to save it. Now packages is the next option which is again quite important um, so let's open up this tab here and um, just now um, there's no option just now um, in the packaging until you add a packet Shopify will use a sample box to calculate sh shipping rates at checkout. So let's do that just now, click add package and essentially it's all to, down with, all to do with your package type. So if you need a box, if it's small enough for an envelope or if you need soft packaging or a satchel, if it's particularly delicate then you can have each of these options here. So product package name, I'm just going to call it as just my store name and for example the box we can put in our measurements uh, as we need to. So let's say 110 by 110 by six maybe that's quite wide maybe do 20 by 20 by six inches or whatever and weight um of uh weight when empty so of course you can put it in as as you feel as, as it is so for example let's just leave that as, as 0 0.5 pounds the same concept as well for envelope or soft soft packaging but um, once you've kind of got the dimensions that you would use in terms of your box um, or envelope for example you can click add package so over here we have shipping labels we can purchase and attach um, to packages to ship orders to your customers. For example, we can calculate for different uh, brands and carriers here. So for exa example, Every or DBT, we can click calculate shipping rates and fill out the details to generate a package um, price. Um, but we'll skip off onto package slips here um, for um, customize uh, the package packet packing slips that you can print when you're fulfilling your orders. So for example, if we click to edit, um, it will actually come up with a page of code. 
Um, so it's nothing to worry about at this point. We're not really going to do much here, um, so not to panic about anything like this. Um, but what we do want to do is just preview our template, and we'll be able to see what actually the um, and we'll be able to see what actually the um, the the printout will look like um, for your your packing slip. Um, so yeah, it gives, looks actually quite professional as it is. Um, we can edit some of these details and how it looks like on the, the coding part here. We can actually just obviously type in, um, replace some of the words with uh, what we want to change it to, uh, if you can find it on the coding. But generally speaking, we just want to kind of keep it as it is. Um, this looks professional enough. You do have the option to upgrade your plan um, to enable third-party calculated rates at the checkout. Um, so, for example, if you do are using accounts from FedEx or UPS um, and other apps, um, there's the option to, to do this as well. It's not necessary, but it is an option for you if you have a busy um, a busy store uh, and you, you want to offer this option to your, to your customers. At the bottom as well, finally, you can add uh, an email um, to generate a custom, or, uh, custom order fulfillment. Um, so add an email for a custom fulfillment service that fulfills orders for you. So by clicking on this, you can obviously fill your email out and your details here to have that set up for you. And essentially, guys, that is you set up. Um, you're now ready to, to launch your product uh, and have the settings for your shipping and delivery. It's not too difficult, guys. Obviously, you need to click through it and fill out the details and make sure you have the correct measurement in the boxes and um, figure out where you'd like to actually um, deliver to. But apart from that, um, that is everything all sorted. It's just very much a case of launching your website, um, launching your product and your Shopify page and filling out all other details on the left-hand side. Um, but thank you very much guys for watching, if there is any questions please make sure that you comment in the video uh, below, uh, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.